All right, I'm timing my 1990 Mazda Miata. It's a 1.6 exhaust intake. I'm gonna set it to about 14 degrees, top dead center. Uh, currently, it's coming up to temp. It's looking pretty good. I'll probably start timing it here in a second. Uh, oil pressure's looking pretty good at idle. Idle's set a little high right now. Uh, the car is sitting about, a, I think it's about 14 degrees, top dead center. Uh, but I need to back that idle down. According to the manual I read, you need to jumper the, uh, the ground and tin. So there's the tin and then my ground, which is right here. Oh, sorry, right there. Uh, don't worry about those other two there for a manual fan switch override, just in case. Um, right now I have the inductive timing light set on my number one spark plug wire. I have it connected to a power. This is a generic power just for this uh, this job. It comes with this dummy plug on it. Just unplug the dummy plug, hook up the power to it, and then some generic ground, which is just an unpainted bolt. Or uh, I guess there's probably more accurate ways to do it, but whatever. Uh, currently, let's see if we can see this. The car is, right, you can see the green light there, the timing light just barely, and it looks like it's at about 14 and a half to 15 degrees. Uh, it's really hard to tell on here, but that's about right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure the car is still at operating temperature, 180 degrees. I feel like that should be good. And I'm gonna back that idle down a little bit with this. This is your idle control screw right here. And I'm gonna push it in until you hear it. You hear it dropping a bit. Dropping a bit more. I'm not sure where that's at. Let's go check it. It should be, I believe, 850 plus or minus 50 RPMs for idle. Uh, so I'm still over a thousand. There it goes. Dropping it in. Let's check the timing still. Make sure that the operating temperature is not changing it. Can you guys see it? I don't think so. I gotta get a better camera. Oh, there we go. So there it is right there. The green little dot down there. That's nail polish. Looks like it's sitting a little bit above where I want it to. No, actually that's just an optical illusion on the camera. It's sitting about 14 and a half. I think we're good. Check the idle one more time. Idle's dropping a bit. It's at about 950. I'd like it a little lower. So turn the screw a little bit further in. There it goes. Oh, now she's purring. Yeah, that looks pretty good. This RPM gauge isn't exactly that accurate, so uh, I'll assume that's right. It sounds all right. Temps are up. I would say it's successfully timed. We'll see how it feels. See you on the course.